Hello friends, welcome to my channel CMS Biology. Today in this video lecture we are going to understand the sex determination in Drosophila or fruit flies. So how the genic balance theory helps in determining the sex in case of Drosophila. So today we will study sex determination in fruit fly or Drosophila. with the help of genic balance theory. So first we need to understand who discovered the role of the ratio of sex chromosome and autosome with the determination of sex. So first Kelvin Bridges in the year 1921. Kelvin Bridges in the year 1921 found that some fruit flies having two X chromosomes are not female but intersex. So he found that there are some fruit flies having two X chromosomes but they are not female. Normally the fruit flies have XX sex chromosome in female and XY sex chromosome in male like that of human beings but he found that some Drosophila are having two X chromosomes. They should be female, but they are intersex. So when he look at that specific fruit fly, he found a set of extra autosome is present in them. So from this, he concluded that the autosome also plays important role in the determination of sex. So he concluded from here, the number of autosomes present in a specific drosophila has role in determination of sex. Again, he accidentally found a triploid, a triploid female, triploid female, and the triploid female was having three autosomes and three X chromosomes. He crossed this triploid female with a diploid male with a diploid male so when he crossed the triploid female with a diploid male he found six different types of outcomes so what are the different outcomes let's see so what are the six different outcomes he got as a result of the cross between the triploid the, trip, the triploid female with the diploid male. So the diploid male having two autosomes plus XY sex chromosome it is diploid male. Okay clear. So the diploid male can produce two different types of gametes A plus X or a plus y okay so on the other hand the female is triploid triploid having three autosomes plus three x chromosomes so the condition will give rise to two different types of gametes so what are the two different types of gametes two autosomes plus two x chromosome is possible Another possibility which is there, when two autosomes and two X chromosomes are there, we can have one autosome plus one X chromosome in the other gamut. Here also we will have two different possibilities. One is that having two autosomes and single X chromosome and here a single autosome with two X chromosomes. So these are the different gametes possible from the triploid this one is the triploid female triploid female which is crossed with the diploid male we will have these different varieties as a result let's see what are the different varieties we will get as the result of cross between triploid female and a diploid male so here we will have 2a plus 1a 3 autosome plus three X chromosomes here three 
autosomes plus x x y six chromosome here we will have two autosomes plus x x six chromosome two autosomes plus x y six chromosomes three autosomes plus x x six chromosome three autosomes plus x y six chromosome here we will have two autosomes plus three x chromosomes here two autosomes plus x x y sex chromosomes so these are the different conditions we will get as a result of the cross between triploid female and diploid male so as a result of this we will get the first condition is having three autosome and three x chromosome it is triploid female this one having three autosome and x x y sex chromosome triploid intersex then we have diploid female diploid male this one is having three autosome and two x chromosome triploid intersex this one is the condition where he found kelvin bridges found that there are two x chromosomes but the fruit fly is not female but intersex here we can see it is super male having three autosomes this one is super female having three x chromosome and finally this one is having three sex chromosome xxy which is a diploid intersex okay so these are the different outcomes from the cross done by kelvin bridges so now we will see what are the six different varieties present here what are the six different varieties number 1 we will have triploid female triploid female number 2 we will have diploid female we have diploid female number 3 we have super female super female number 4 we have intersex number 5 we have diploid male diploid male and the final one that is the sixth one we will have another condition of another condition of the male that is super male we will have super super male so these are the six different conditions the six different types of drosophila kelvin bridges obtained from the cross between triploid female and diploid male and they are triploid female diploid female super female intersex diploid male and super male so this is the outcome that kelvin bridges got from the cross now let's see how the genetic balance theory helps in the determination of sex in drosophila so what was the ratio between the x chromosome number of x chromosome and number of autosome says us whether the fruit fly is male female super male super female or intersex so everything about the sex of the drosophila can be understood from the ratio between the number of x chromosome and the number of autosome so here we have the super female diploid female intersex diploid male and super male and these are the number of chromosome x chromosome and y chromosome the total combination of sex chromosome here we have taken the number of autosomes are here in this column and finally the ratio between x chromosome and autosome is here so from the ratio we can know that if it is greater than 1 the ratio between x chromosome and autosome is greater than 1 we will call it a super female when the ratio is 1 we will say it is diploid female or normal female when the ratio is between 0.5 to 1 we can call it intersex when it is 0.5 or half it is a diploid male or normal male and super male when it is less than 0.5 so we can identify whether it is an intersex a 
मेल ए फीमेल और सुपर फीमेल और ए सुपर मेल फ्रॉम द रेशियो बिटवीन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एक्स क्रोमोजोम एंड ऑटोजोम हियर वी कैन सी हियर टोटल नंबर ऑफ एक्स क्रोमोजोम इज 3 सो वी हैव डिवाइडेड 3 बाय 2 टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑटोजोम ओके सो हियर वी हैव 2 एक्स क्रोमोजोम इन बोथ द केसेस सो 2 एक्स क्रोमोजोम एंड 2 ऑटोजोम्स 2 बाय 2 इक्वल टू 1 मींस इट इज डिप्लॉयड फीमेल हियर वी हैव 2 एक्स क्रोमोजोम अगेन बट द ऑटोजोम नंबर इज 3 so we have 2 by 3 that is 0.67 so it is intersex again in case of diploid male we have a single x chromosome and by dividing 1 by 2 a single x chromosome divided by two autosomes we will get 0.5 which means it is diploid male and, and in case of super male we have again a single x chromosome but here three autosomes are present so the ratio is 1 by 3 that is 0.33 so from here we can understand the sex of the fruit fly by looking at the ratio between the x chromosome number of x chromosome and number of autosomes okay so in drosophila male are caused by factors not localized in the sex chromosome okay why sex chromosome is essential for making the individual fertile but it has no role y chromosome has no role in the determination of sex remember that y chromosome plays no role because x chromosome and autosome has important role in the determination of sex clear so y chromosome do not play any role in the determination of sex here the maleness is not determined by the presence or absence of y chromosome but it makes the presence of y chromosome makes the individual fertile clear finally remember one term gynandromorphs so this one is very important gynandromorphs these are the organisms gynandromorphs are the organisms having both male and female characters in a single body these are having both male and female characters in a single body they are not bilaterally symmetrical they are having both male and female character gynandromorphs remember these are different from intersex intersex are not equal to gynandromorphs remember gynandromorphs are the individuals having the characters of both male and female so this is all about the determination of sex in case of drosophila and how genetic balance theory plays important role what is the role of kelvin bridges and how he did different experiments by taking fruit flies thank you very much